The nasal potential difference is a valuable method to characterize the phenotype of transgenic mice modeling cystic fibrosis. It allows investigating the efficacy of new targeted therapies for cystic fibrosis. The main advantages of the technique are that it provides reliable measurements in spontaneously breathing mice, it reduces test-related mortality and it allows repeating the test in the same animal. To prepare the double lumen nasal catheter, heat the middle of a 20 centimeter long polyethylene tube in the flame about 10 to 15 seconds until it is soft enough for pulling. Then, pull the two ends apart to obtain a very thin capillary tube of about 15 centimeters long and an outer diameter of 0.1 millimeters for the nasal probe. Afterward, clean and degrease the two capillaries with pure ethanol. Join them with tape and glue them together using cyanoacrylate glue. Cut away the excess length of the probes with a razor blade to obtain the double lumen catheter of about 8 centimeters long. Then, inject water through both lumens to verify that they are permeable and make a mark at a 5 millimeter distance from the tip. Subsequently, prepare a cream mix by mixing the electrolyte cream and saturated 3 molar potassium chloride solution in a ratio of 1 to 1, avoiding formation of tiny air bubbles.